LeBron winning his his, his fourth NBA uh, title. Yeah, and, now, and you know, three teams, three different teams. Does that put him? How much closer to Michael does this? One play? other thing, and I, I'm borrowing this from my colleague Mike Lupica. Uh, I don't want to steal his his thought. It's really for because his first Cleveland team has nothing to do with his second Cleveland team. Right. It's nothing. It's just him and no other relevant components. He dragged that first team in it as a kid. That's one of the most really, you know what that was like? Him that him taking that Cleveland team to the finals was like Larry Bird taking Indiana State to the NCAA championship game in 1979. Well, their best second best player, I think, on that team was Mo Williams, wasn't it? Yeah, or yeah, and Booby Gibson. Right. I you mean, know, and, you and look the, down at that roster. We're going to look down in 20 Z. years at that roster. People and, and, forget Zadronis Ilgowskis, right. Big Z. Big right? Z. That's, That's the kind of players he dragged to the finals. They had no shot. But, he, no. you know, it's, it's like when Iverson dragged the Sixers to the final. Check out that roster someday. Brutal. Now, I'm not the Brutal. biggest. If, if you want to make a case for how great Iverson is, and he's, people are kind of forgetting now, you know, and how difficult – Go look at the roster. He he dragged to the to finals. I remember. Someday. So, again, going back to my yeah. question, I'll pose it again. Okay, yeah. Yes. So yeah. How much closer is LeBron to, to being the GOAT? Is he the GOAT if he wins number four? The, the argument can be made, of course. Uh, the, and it, 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 it's going to – look, both sides are dug in. I don't think – I think it's like our November 3rd election – I don't see how there are that many undecideds. I don't understand an undecided. I don't understand it. I totally can't comprehend an undecided at this point. Because you don't live in the South. Well, they're not <laughs> undecided, undecided either. You're they're not, not you undecided. Know, you don't know by now. Right. But anyway, right. I think that the 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 sides are dug in on the goat, the yeah. Michael versus LeBron. You know, Michael never lost the finals. Michael even never even got to a seventh game, you know, in the finals. That's a remarkable thing. You know, Russell never lost the seventh game. Michael never got there. You know, I mean, well, now Russell's in his whole career with the division and everything, but never got there in the finals. I mean, that's how good Michael's teams were in in this context. Okay, it's an, it's a singular feat. I mean, it's, he's going to have something on his resume that none of the other guys in the in the pantheon, none of the other guys, the Mount Olympus residents. You know, I don't know how big you want to say the Mount Olympus. Uh, condos are how many condos are up there in basketball not you know five six seven whatever none of the others did it you know we've done what he's done and and so that it would be a tremendous feat and and a tremendous argument but you know you're not going to convince some people he'll never live out outlive for some people what he did in cleveland uh, in 2010 against the celtics what he didn't do against the mavericks in 11 and you know that's it. He's got to, you know, you, you got to, if you're making the argument for him, you got to live with that. You know, I feel like Bob, I feel like it's, it's, it depends on what area you grow up in, you yeah. know? And I think so many of the young people that are in their twenties, even thirties are going to say, Hey, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. And people my age are probably going to go more with Jordan. Where, where do thing, people, where do people your age go with? Cause you've seen them. I think you're leaning more, they're still leaning Michael. I think, I think it's uh, my, you know, we're with Andy Michael. And remember, there's no, what I call, yeah, but factor. Michael has no, yeah, but factor. The fact the yeah, but factor is what happens if he doesn't play baseball? Right. That's right. They might have won. I mean, they want, right, I'll stay categorically. They're winning eight in a row. They're, 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 yeah, the Rockets, nobody's they're not beating winning. them. Bob, there's no way anybody's beating them. If he, the Rockets if he aren't stays. winning right. against them. Sorry. Right. No. And so, He's going to win eight in a row, which puts him in the Russell category in a in a different, you know, a, a, a much different scenario. Russell, in the beginning, they had two series to win. Right. You know, right. it was when Bill Russell won his first championship, it was an eight team league. Didn't go west of St. Louis. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they were in St. Louis. They beat St. Louis. You know, they were who came, had that team relocated from Milwaukee, in case anybody wants to know. That's how the Hawks. Just, they're, they're so different. That's the hardest part when you look at Michael Jordan and, and LeBron is they're just, their games are so <laughs> different yeah. um, that it kind of depends on what you value more, right? I mean, I, I love LeBron for the fact of, of the way he plays the game and the way he thinks the game and can impact the game. Like every time, even if he's not making shots, he's going to have a huge, huge impact on the game because he can make people better. With oh. Michael, Let's face it, it was more about scoring the basketball. Michael was a scorer scoring. who could pass. LeBron is a passer who can score. Correct. And that's Correct. And, and so when you're a passer first, 
which Larry always was. I don't care how many points Larry scored. He was a passer first. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, it brings every, it, I saw it in my own eyes. I saw the contagion. I saw that there were nights when they moved the basketball, guys were doing stuff they never dreamed of doing when they played with Bird at times, you know, when, they, when things were going just right. And I'm sure this thing, I'm sure that was true with Magic too. And, but Michael, that wasn't part of Michael's game. It was never part of Michael's game to do that for people, you know? No, no. He, he, Michael was a ruthless, give me the ball. And, and, and he's still, kill. the difference is, you know, and I, I keep saying the difference in their temperaments and how they got where they were to the peak of their profession. Michael, when he learned how to share, except the fact that there are four other guys, and some of them actually might be able to help you every now and then, because the 1987 Michael is not passing to Steve Kerr. Right. He's not passing to John Paxson as he did later on to win championships. And the flip side, of course, is LeBron. He's too nice to, to, to yep. facility, uh, to facility yep. oriented. And until he finally recognized that he had needed to take responsibility of being the best player on the floor and knowing how, but it's a tough calibration when your natural instinct is to share and you got to take over. I mean, it's, you, if you always dropped in from Uranus and watch him now, you wouldn't see what we, you know, what the, how the transformation has been made. That he's so different than he was in 2011. It's very different.